has all the behind the scenes info, gossip, and happenings in the world of Hollywood. You gotta tune in to Dishing with Christian on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. on the New Orleans Talk Network.com. I got all sides in my bag, swag. What is New Orleans Talk Network? It's today's hottest topics with an added flair. You. Get ready, because the conversation will be hot. And better yet, mobile. Download the New Orleans Talk Network app available on Android, iPhone, iPad. And you can listen to us on the web at www.neworleanstalknetwork.com. Write down our talk line at 504-341-TALK. That's 504-341-8255. Interactive and worldwide, that's what we are. Join in on the real conversation and tell a friend about the New Orleans Talk Network. New Orleans has a choice. Download the New Orleans Talk Network app for your mobile device or listen at www.neworleanstalknetwork.com. Nobody gives you better conversation about your quality of life. Let everyone know you listen to the New Orleans, the New Orleans, the New Orleans Talk Network. Good evening, good evening. It's the New Orleans Talk Network. It's you and your credit, and I'm your host, Remus Bowman. Today, on today's show, I've got my closest friend. We've been friends for over 30 years, and a lot of you that have uh, that have listened to the show or seen the show in the past have heard him on the phone. This is Mr. George Russell. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm glad to be here, Mr. Bowman. Uh, here to talk about you and your credit. Uh, I've been on Mr. Bowman probably about 35 years. Matter of fact, I want to give a shout-out to my wife. Uh, 30 years ago, tomorrow, we'll be married 30 years. And Mr. Bowman was in my wedding. Sure was. Sure was. And we're also going to introduce our next guest, Ms. Uh, Ch- Chadell Green. It's actually Ruddell Green. Ruddell Green. Hello, Excuse all. Me, Thank Ruddell. you. Um, I'm happy to be here. And last but not least... Second generation of the friend, smart guy uh, of, of 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 our friendship. His dad is one of us, the three Very amigos. We all been friends for over thirty years, and this is a young man that we're very proud of, Mr. Devon Jarrett. Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Bowman, for having me. Councilman Devon Jarrett, uh, 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 attorney <laughs> Devon Jarrett. We 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 don't want to we don't want to leave any of his accolades on the floor. We want everybody to know that Devon is a practicing attorney in New Orleans, and he can help you uh, with your legal matters. Now, if you want to get information about uh, about uh, a ticket, Mr. Jarrett can help you. You want to get information about uh, criminal court, Mr. Jarrett can help you. If you want to get information about the direction sh- direction you should go in for your credit, I'm the one you should call. Because I teach everybody. I, I Believe me. I'm a student. I, <laughs> believe me, well. there's a big difference in what you can do to improve your credit score. And not everybody needs to go into bankruptcy. That's, that's a last result. But what we need to do is we need to first get a copy of our credit report, and then we can make sense of it. Contact me at 504-274-8117, or you can hit me up on my on Gmail, RemusBowman55 at Gmail. Uh, my Facebook friends are contacting me. My friends on Instagram are, are calling me. Hey, guys, I'm so happy to interact with you because what that tells me is that I'm making a difference in my community. And if, if there's anything more valuable than that, 
I'd like to know what it is. Speaking of banning the community, I want to remind everyone, go out and vote. It's very, very important that you yes, vote. Yes, Absolutely. Just vote. Just vote. Absolutely. One of the reasons why we're having this large panel is it just going to, you know, God kind of makes things happen for a reason. And um, George called me last week, and he was telling me about uh, what we did 30 years ago and, and how proud he was and how proud I am of him and his wife, Angela. But the, uh, our third amigo, uh, Dwight, and his wife have also been married uh, around 30 years as, as well. And, you know, I'm the only single guy in the group, I guess. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's a tricky question. Oh, well. <laughs> that's a tricky issue. <laughs> oh, well. I, um, maybe, uh, maybe I'll learn, maybe I'll learn from, from, from my friends. Uh, Devon, tell, tell everybody uh, a little bit about your law, law practice. Okay, I'll give you a quick background of myself. First, I'm born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. I went to Benjamin Franklin High School here in New Orleans. Went away to Hampton, Virginia for college where I majored in sports management. Um, I just like anybody, I had hoop dreams, NFL aspirations, wanted to play in the league. However, those dreams did deflate, just like most people. I mean, the odds of becoming a professional athlete slim to none. But long story short, graduated from Hampton University with a degree in sports management. Loved sports, so I wanted to do something dealing with sports. And just when I got out, the market was kind of down. There wasn't any jobs in that particular field. So I spoke with my dad, who you mentioned, and spoke very highly of, saying, hey, dad, what's the next route to go? And he said, hey, you know, try to consider law school. And at first, you know, graduating four years from Hampton, say, hey, I don't want to do any more school. You know, I'm done with school, student loans, things of that sort. But, you know, my dad, like you mentioned, credit, my dad having good credit was able to, you know, co-sign on the loans to get me in the right direction. So that's why I attended law school. Went to law school at Southern University Law Center in Baton Rouge, um, Louisiana. Um, went did three years of law school, graduated with my Jewish doctorate degree. And from there, I went ahead and took a risk, went out on a limb and said, hey, you know, I want to try my own practice, you know, I'm not married, no kids, you know, I had the guidance of a, both my parents, um, my mom, Debbie Jarrett, my father, Dwight Jarrett, so they supported me. And so coming out, you know, I'll be honest, started working for my mom's kitchen table, and now I have a, a downtown office in, here in New Orleans, Louisiana, and so God's been blessing me. And um, like you said, I practice various aspects of law. I do a lot of criminal defense, uh, personal injury, employment discrimination. I have federal court cases. I mean, God's truly been blessing me in the issue I guess I find a lot here with a lot of the individuals in New Orleans is a lot of people have great legal issues, just that they don't have the voice, they don't know the right way to reach out, whether it's file a lawsuit, whether it's send a demand letter. And so that's why when I meet new people, I say, hey, you know, because a lot of people say, hey, can I talk to you about this? And I have, you know, time to talk. And so a lot of times, you know, a lot of my clients, just from meeting them at the grocery store, wherever it may be, they have great legal issues. So I definitely want to be that voice to help you, you know, get... You know, you're right. What's the phone number for them to contact you? Oh, you can phone? contact me on my cell phone, which I have 24-7-504-491-6806. You can contact my office number. My system will definitely pick up. That number is 504-475-5939. Also, email me at djarrett at jarrettlawgroup.com. That's d-j-a-r-r-e-t-t at jarrettlawgroup.com. Um, just contact me in any way, shape, and form. Like I tell people, all the people tell me not to do it, but I'm... I don't sleep, so, I mean, you contact me 24-7, I'll be available, I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Hey, if you get arrested and you need somebody to get you out of jail, call Mr. Jared. He, he, he just said he doesn't sleep. 24-7. <laughs> I like it already. I like it already, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Miss Miss Green. Talk to me. Uh, let's, you know, tell, tell everybody uh, about the Magnolia Assets. Okay. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Riddell Green. I am from um, New Orleans, Louisiana, 9th Ward. Uh, I am starting a new venture, and I'm hoping to help a lot of uh, New Orleanians out as far as employment and things of that sort. Magnola Assets is actually Magnola, New Orleans, Louisiana Assets. Um, it's a uh, company, pretty much a holding company that's going to offer different entities and subsidiary businesses that can help employ our community. My goal is to basically um, employ and not only that, obviously, my real goal is to make some money. Let's not get it confused. Right. But obviously, I do want to add to the community and uh, help everyone out. And um, that's what um, I'm here for. What, what, one, of the best, one of the best thoughts mm -hmm. is that, and, and I don't know if anybody's picked this up, one of the best thoughts that, uh, that we all have in common mm -hmm. at, at this table is that we want to assist our community. We want to give our community uh, 
everything that we have uh, from, you know, from the blessings that God has given us. We give, give them our knowledge. We give them our skill. Uh, we do things uh, just because you need it. A little help from me, I was there. And, you know, a lot of times people uh, have contacted me and, and, and got counseling from me, and I never, I never thought hmm. a second thought about whatever they needed from me that I could give. And uh, sometimes my friends tell me that I should be charging for those services. But then that's a story for another, that's a story for another time. We're thinking about uh, next year doing live seminars where I will be uh, teaching, uh, teaching everyone how to get a good credit score. It, it's going to be something that we're going to do. We're probably going to start out with a venue here on the West Bank, which is where our studio is. And we're going to take it from there, and we're going to, we're going to probably uh, develop some, some sites in New Orleans, and we're going to probably do it two three times a week for a little while and, and see what happens. But if I, can get, if I can get people to come out to see how easy it is, a lot of people are very intimidated by the opportunity of having good credit. If you only knew how this could change your life, be able to walk into an automobile dealership and just say, I want that car. It's a wonderful feeling. Also, to start a business, you need, I'm sorry. Yes. I apologize. Also, to start a business, I mean, we're trying to push more entrepreneurship. At least I am. I'm trying to push more entrepreneurship among amongst our community to where in order to be independent, you have to have that credit established. So if you don't have that credit established, you can't say, okay, well, I'm going to establish a business. Not without that credit, you won't. And Mr. Remus is definitely a great avenue to, to start. You need to know where you stand, where you are, and what you need to do to get to where you want to be. Well, if you get a copy of your credit report, that's the start. beginning. Yes, that's sir. the start. Yes, sir. Well, George, I know that you've been uh, teaching credit restoration along with your brother Bill for quite a while back in uh, Houston, Texas. What's the name of that show that y'all have, uh, Bill? It's Bill called, Russell? Bill, called Bill Russell Car Talk in Houston, Bill. Texas. Okay. Uh, I mean, I've been I've been not teaching restoration. I've been guiding my kids on their credit and their credit habit, and their spending habit about credit, on how important that is on on applying for a job and trying to come up with edge that give you a loan just by having just by just by being prepared alone. Also by having great credit, how to use the system for your money. If you got a great credit rate of hmm. six point nine on your credit card and I got zero point nine my money's still more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you, if you, if you, if you, it just, it just, and, and, I want to inform you, if you made a mistake, we all have. Yes, we have. It <laughs> ain't yes, over. Have. I'm probably in the middle it of it. It ain't over. <laughs> hey, listen, if you have any legal problems, Mr. Devon Jerry. You have social problems, my man, Ms. Green. You need a car deal, Remus Bowman. You need a suit, me. <laughs> yes, so sir. if you all important things in your life, you need somebody else to help you. So if your credit is not so, it's a little soft, why not call an expert? Hmm. <clears throat> I, I'm just saying, your credit is so important to your overall life, living, zip code. Succeeding. Everything. 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 So what I suggest anything is to write the number down, call it, hmm. email a number, email it, Second and call it to get it. You know, a lot of times since we're not trying to purchase anything, you don't have a sense of urgency to get it straight, but if you're trying to purchase something and you're not straight, it's almost a little late. If you want to buy a house or a car, hmm. now is the time to start. Absolutely. So, 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 give me that number again. 504-274-8117. Good. Uh, it's time for our first break. We're going to be taking a, a little break, and we'll be right back in just a few minutes.
This is Tanya Free. This Tuesday, November the 8th, is Election Day, a day that requires us to do something. Vote! It's our right and duty to vote. Let's go out and vote. Then join the post-election conversation Wednesday on the Tanya Free and Friends talk show, 2 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Central. Join Tanya Free and Friends at TanyaFree.com. On air, online, and on point. This is Captain Black. This is Brother Al Mim. Join us for our new show, The Hostages That Fight Back. Back, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Central. We are all hostages to something, but it's up to us to find the courage to fight back and make the change. So tune in to become the change you want to see in the world here on New Orleans Talk Network. Brothers and sisters! Brothers and sisters! I don't know what this world is coming to! There are moments in life when we hesitate. Buying a home shouldn't be one. Markets are changing and interest rates are still low. Now is the time to make your move. At Rocksteady Realty, we are determined to find a home for you. We know the area, provide personal attention, and more convenience. For all your residential and commercial needs, contact Willie Jones at Rocksteady Realty at 504-460-3819. Discover the Rocksteady difference. Happy Merry Mondays. It's your girl, Mary J. I want you to tune in with me to Real Talk with Mary J on New Orleans Talk Network every Monday morning at 10 a.m. Then follow me to blogtalkradio.com slash realtalkwithmaryj at 10 p.m. It's going to be a Merry Monday every Monday at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. You've just tuned in to New Orleans Talk Network. This is Belinda Parker Brown, president of Louisiana United International. I am the host for A Force for Justice. You can listen to us every Thursday morning at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central, exposing the injustice in our criminal justice system. You can also call in at 504 341 8255 and tell us how you have become a victim in our criminal justice system. On the New Orleans Talk Network, a force for justice with Belinda Parker Brown. You can have whatever you like. I said you can have whatever you like. This is the New Orleans Talk Network. It's you and your credit. I'm your host, Remus Bowman. We've got my, my longtime buddy, Mr. George Russell. We've got Mr. Devon Jarrett. And we've got Riddell Green. And you, too, truly can have whatever you like with oh, a yeah. good credit score. I promise you. There's no secrets. Uh, we have a guest on the line. And, uh, and I want to I wanna apologize for having you, having you wait so long, big brother. I'd like to introduce my one of my other close friends, Mr. Bill Russell. How you doing, brother? Good morning, Good morning my brother. How are you? I'm great. I'm Hello, great. Bill. I I just gonna hear George Russell in the background. How you doing, George? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm Joe. Good to go. I see. I see. I hear you guys listening. You guys trying to make a difference in your, in your community. That's a good thing. I think that. I think that if, if you if you come out there and step out there, folks will. Take the step. I think. I mean, I've got a credit company here, also in Houston. I've had for the last thirty years or so. So, you're making a great step, and it's, it's a much needed process. I know you're also in the car business, just like I am. I've been for the last thirty years in the car business here in Houston. And if you can get someone's credit straight before you sell them a car, you can save them a bunch of money. I can tell you the difference between buying a twenty-five thousand dollar car. A twenty thousand dollar car is about a hundred, a hundred fifty thousand a month for the exact same car. Good credit versus not having good credit. So think about that for a second. The average car loan is seven years, seventy-two months, and you're talking about hundred thousand dollars times seven years, nine, eight, nine thousand dollars for the exact same car. Good credit person pays one price. Credit person with challenge credit pays another price. Guess what? Bad things do happen to good people. So you get some credit destroyed, but it can be repaired. It's not impossible. But I tell you this also, Remus, you would not go to court without a lawyer. You would not go to surgery without a doctor. So you want to call a professional to do that. So you got a credit, a professional credit repair person is going to achieve your objective a whole lot faster. Because some of these creditors fight very hard 
at keeping you in debt. Hmm. The mythology is that it's going to fall off in seven years. No, it's not. Because six years and 11 months, they're going to sell it to a, to a, to a credit collector, and it's back on your credit for another six or seven years. And six years after that, they're going to sell it again. So it's going to keep recycling itself. Hmm. If you remove that bad credit and put a few good credit on your, on, your, on your credit bureau, you can get yourself back to a different place. You don't, you're a renter. You're living in an apartment, paying eleven, twelve hundred dollars a month. You can surely buy some kind of home for that same amount and get the tax benefits of that process. So I urge you, I urge you to take a step. Make the phone call. Call him up. Let him do what he has to do to move him to the next level. Too much is given, much is required. He's been blessed. He's trying to bless you. But I tell people all the time, Remus, here's my most important statement. It's a good steps of a, of a, of a, a step of a good man all about the Lord, right? Right. Mm-hmm. But stop asking God to all your steps, and it ain't gonna take. The, it ain't gonna move your feet. That's right. You gotta move your feet. Amen to that. Amen to that. Amen to that. I'm passing. I'm passing. I, I, I love it. I love it. Hey, if you're not gonna let God direct your path, and you go, you're gonna take the will. Don't pray. Don't ask. Because like he's because he's there. He's gonna. He opens every door. Everything that happens uh, that have happened in my life, I can look back on, and, you know, I talked about earlier how George and I have been close friends for 30 years. Well, Bill and I have been friends for 30 years as well. George and Bill are brothers. So, we're, you know, we're, we're like a team. We all live a certain type of life. We all communicate at a certain level. But one of the things, and, and, and you made a statement earlier, uh, Bill, that you have been involved in the credit restoration business for for a number of years, I know that, and you're right. I do. I I I I, I was aware of it before I got into the credit restoration business. George told me. I think it's a wonderful thing, and yeah, I I I look at you as as, as my brother, and we you know we we all love our community, man. Again, I'm t- what I'm trying to share with you is that there's enough people that need help. I can't pull the whole world by myself. No. There's a bunch of people need help. So if you're in New Orleans right there, you plan your professionalism, your knowledge, your information. You have credit every day. You apply your information to help folks get credit. I applaud it. I commend, recommend it. I'm just trying to share with folks. You're right there. Make yeah. the phone call. I see the results. I'm, I, I'm not, I mean, man, I'm not only the president. I was a customer. <laughs> <of my own laughs> <company. laughs> I was too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm saying, I'm saying, and I'm talking about, and I've got, I've got, Except for my income. I've got, I make millions of dollars in my process. Even a guy at my level has had challenges. I mean, I had an IRS issue. I owed him a million dollars. I owed him $986,000. But guess what? They went in the bank and took their money. And I didn't know they took their money. I looked at one day and I got a late notice in the mail on account. I knew I had an automatic deposit. Or I made I said, late? How can I be late? I called my bank up, Mark, you got a problem. I called my bank. My bank account said $9.80. I thought I had $98,000 in that account. So I called the bank president and said, Mark, you got a mistake in my account. He said, no, Bill, them people came. Them people came. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't say no. <laughs> it's people came. So they started taking all the things that hit my bank account. And so guess what? I, all my credit cards, I had grandfathered in at a very low rate. But the rule is that if, you get, if you're ever late, they can they can move you to the higher rate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I had about $150 of the credit card debt collectively, mm-hmm. my business stuff collectively. That the credit card rate I had was like 59 went to like 21%. Mm-hmm. So I called the credit the bank, the credit cards up. To explain to them what had happened to my situation. He said, Oh, Mr. Ross, just touch the rule. I said, Man, I'm not paying y'all 21%. I've been with you guys for like 12 years. You're going to tell me 21%? You know, I told them what happened. So, guess what? I charged they behind off. And guess what happened to my credit? It went down. So now I got $100 of the debt. I got a choice of, 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 of trying to get my credit repaired and getting get it dealt with or paying it myself. So I went the credit repair route. And guess what? I'm now, now my credit is on the other side of 800 but guess what? It wasn't that way. It went down. It went down. The actual company that I, that I, that I now own, I bought for a large amount of money because the guy has a good program in place. So, Remus, you've got a program. Do your th- the folks, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you don't take the steps to doing it, you can't think your way out of a situation you activity way into. Let me say that one more time. It's activity, a negative activity to get your credit jacked up. 
Okay. You can't think your way back to back to being good. You got to put some positive activity into the situation because you created back good. You can't think your way back into it. You got to act your back into it. So make the phone call. Give them the number, Remus. Give them the number. 504-274-8117. Yeah. I said all I got to say, hey, for example, say, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to throw it Make a great day. <laughs> hey, 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 Bill. Yeah. Thank you, man, for taking a minute out of your day and calling in. I appreciate it, man. Man, we, if I wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't be doing. I, would, I wouldn't be doing the right thing if I do that. Hey, before you leave, you're offering help. Hey, before you leave, I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to all the men. It's National No Shave Month, November for men's health. You know the prostate and all the other stuff. Make sure you go have you take your physical, have yourself checked out. Cause me and Bill Russell do every year. <laughs> by night, by night. Look, it ain't no fun. I get violated once a year. I, <laughs> I feel I feel violated. Take, take my doctor about an hour to get me through the process. I be holding. You ready? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She go serve other patients and come back. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you even think about it for a minute. Uh, he man. said, get it over with, Mr. Russell, get it over with, <laughs> but it's necessary. I'm a, I'm a cancer survivor, so I know how important it is. Had I not been a person that got checked out on a regular basis, I probably would not be saying I'm a cancer survivor. Mm. The fact that I went to regular checkups allowed me to catch my situation very, 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 very early, and I was able to be able to tell the story. I'm my own testimony. You got to testify for me. I'm my own testimony. So I'm blessed to be a blessing. I'm telling you, so get Checked out and get your credit. Guess what? The doctor check your body out. Remus will check your credit out. Go see the doctor. Yeah. Remus get your credit checked out too. I, I, hey, hey, look, man. we got an office over at Toyota New Orleans. I can pull up the credit reports right there on the spot, man. The, you know, wow, I, I that's can, awesome, man. I, I, oh, can that's do, awesome. I can do it all, man. Get it, get it done. Get it done. Okay. It takes, if you want to buy a home, don't wait till you're ready to buy a home. Get yourself prepared to buy the home. It right. takes about thirty days or sixty days. 96 days for the process to close these days anyway. Right. So while you're doing that, don't wait you trying to buy the house and say, no, you can't have it. <laughs> go ahead and start the process. Go by there, let me look at the credit, see what needs to be worked on, and get your process started. Don't wait. Don't sit on your dump. Let the dog on the porch sit on, sit on a nail. Ooh, ooh, moaning. Get up off the nail. <laughs> Love the nail. Get off the nail, man. Get off the nail. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the information is confidential. Look, there's some folks that right next to you, your friends you know, you think got it going on, had their credit fixed. Absolutely. They made the move, though. You can't knock them because they would have had it done. Go right. get it fixed. It's all kind. Con- nobody going to tell. We ain't going to tell nobody. We, hey, we can't tell anybody. I, I was we ain't going to tell nobody. <laughs> Why would I? We ain't, ain't going to put your business in the street. It's all confidential. Guess what? I'm putting mine out there. I had myself get jacked up. I went from good to bad back to great. How about that? Well, I'm better now than I was before I started. I I think one of the biggest uh, biggest benefits that you went through is that you learned how important knowing how to repair your credit. Once you do it, once you learn how to do it, it it, it won't. Even if you have bad things happen to good people, even if really? things things happen really? again, you're still going to be able to come up. When myself got bad, I couldn't finance donuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I got my credit straight. I'm, I'm in finance of $3 million house with your credit. Wow. Wow. Because I live in right now. True story. Well, one, of the, one of the things that... that, 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 that if I didn't have your credit, I couldn't be involved with it. Convertible, Bentley. Convertible. Put that, 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 that top off, baby. I mean, that's all good credit. Oh, I know. Here's, here's, here's a little kicker, Remus. Let me tell you something I hang up on you. Mm. When I borrowed the money for the car, Okay, the car was one hundred fifty thousand. I borrowed two hundred. I borrowed fifty thousand dollars over the amount of the car. No matter, I got the car, keys, and Bentley, and a fifty thousand dollars check. Hmm. I took the fifty thousand dollars check and made the payments for the first three years on the car. The seven fifty or above eight hundred Beacon School can do those kind of things. That's no problem. D- drive, drive for free. <laughs> car pays for itself. <laughs> I'm around for three. three. <laughs> How about that? Hey man, so again, make make the phone call. Give the guys a call. Don't sit. Don't sit. Don't hey, don't make a decision. Make a decision right now. The date is the last day. You don't, you don't have bad credit. My brother now, George. We made a commitment to ourselves. We're gonna be the last poor Russells. There'll be no poor coming behind us. We trained our kids. Our son's my assistant. George's son's. We train them in which way to go. Train a child up. 
but they're going to be training them up on how to handle their business. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that. We're going to be the last for us. So you fix your credit. You want to start a business. You want to open your own shop. You want to open your own business. No, man. You've got to have good credit to do that. You can't do cash and carry and have a successful business. No, you sir. have to have trade lines, credit lines. For, for those, cash, cash, you got to have all that. For, for those, requires your credit. For those people who may not be aware of this, uh, Mr. Bill Russell and Mr. George Russell are descendants of Mr. Love. Let them have it. Let them have it. Let them love. And and Let have I, it. I, I remember. I, say, I, say. I, I remember. I remember meeting Mr. Love uh, some thirty thirty years ago, and how positive. Uh, of an influence that he was on on George and Bill and me, you know. Uh, you some some of some of y'all might also know uh, Bill's Bill and George's other brother, Mr. Lester Love, uh, Bishop That's Lester right. Love. So the the only point, the only reason why I'm making this point is that people don't understand the effect, mm. the positive uh, effect that mentoring can have on your children. Mm -hmm. Well, association based on simulation. Absolutely, absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you what. Remember something here. This: if you if you hang around five broke people, <laughs> you will be number six. You will be number six. I <laughs> promise you, because because they gonna drain. They gonna drain what you got. Mm. So get around folks who do where you are. Man, look. I, I tell you this all the time. I talk about. Okay, I live in a three million house. My friend Gerald, who just sold his house for fourteen million. He said, "No, I ain't made it yet. I'm I'm still in route." <laughs> I'm still on the way to success. I'm still, I ain't there yet. I guess I'm successful yeah. from where I came. I ain't successful where I'm going. Mm. I'm not there yet. I'm not, this, is, this, is, no, this is a marathon. This ain't no sprint. I'm still, I'm, I'm still trying to get there. I'm still pressing forward. I'm a New Orleans side in and came here, broke, broke the Ten Commandments. Hmm. But I made a decision in my own mind to, to take whatever steps in front of me, whatever knots in front of me, to get me where I'm trying to go. And guess what? Now, we take that same knowledge we go get from the, our upper class. We bring it back to you guys and say, okay, look, here's what we got. Here's the secret to success. We got it from them. We got the information. Here it is. And we give it to you guys. But guess what? If you don't open your mouth, you can't get it. If you can't open, if you don't act open on. your mind, yeah, you, have to act you on can't it. get it. Uh, I, I, I wholly agree with you. Uh, you guys have had a positive influence on me, you know, and, and there have been times when you run out of steam and it's your friends that, Refill your, you know, refill your jug, man. Re it, Remus, you need to come back here, brother. Look, your, 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 our shortcomings, our faults, our stumbles, our struggles, that determines how we are. The measure of a great champion is not how hard he hit, it's what he do once he's been hit hard. Absolutely. How does he bounce back? How does he get up? You got hit, you got hit, you got up, and you're moving forward. Then you take your testimony and you give blessings to other folks. I, when I first started, Remus, as a young man, I, I moved away from my home. I used to tell this story to people like, like I came for money. I used to tell this fear, like, lie, you want to call it a lie, lie, like I came for money. Because I want to be accepted in the process. Mm -hmm. I want to be accepted in the circle. But I found out that a better story is my true story. I grew up broke and poor, single parent mom, five kids and no money. That was a better story. It's a rags to riches story, but a better story than the false story. So I'm saying, so I gave my testimony all over the world, Australia, Hawaii, Canada, on how I grew up and how I came forward and how I pushed through all my challenges to get where I am. So Remus, you're pushing through for your breakthrough. You're helping some folks in, in, in the process. I commend you 1,000%. Keep it up. Don't stop. Keep it up. Don't thank, stop. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Bill. It's time for our next break. You can have, I promise you, you can have whatever you like if you start with a good credit score. We'll be right back. There are moments in life when we hesitate. Buying a home shouldn't be one. Markets are changing and interest rates are still low. Now is the time to make your move. At Rocksteady Realty, we are determined to find a home for you. We know the area, provide personal attention, and more convenience. For all your residential and commercial needs, contact Willie Jones at Rocksteady Realty at 504-460-3819. Discover the Rocksteady difference. Crown Properties Incorporated, development and property management specialists, specializing in commercial and residential properties. With over 20 years experience, we specialize in property management, tenant placement, rent collection. We also manage single group housing, 
We have a full-time maintenance staff, 24-hour emergency on-call services, and we're fully licensed and insured. Let us do all the work while you receive the monthly checks at Crown Properties Incorporated. For more information, call 504-366-4001. That number again is 504-366-4001. Or come visit us at 405 Gretna Boulevard, Suite 109, Gretna, Louisiana. Crown Properties Incorporated for all your property management needs. You be the investor, we'll be the landlord. Crown Properties Incorporated. This is Tanya Free. The end of what seemed like a never-ending campaign season is here. Reports of campaign fatigue and voter apathy have been at the highest in years during the current election cycle. A growing number of voters say they have grown weary and fed up with this especially bitter presidential campaign. What's your take? The Tanya Free and Friends Talk Show. Your destination for the best in social and political straight talk. Wednesdays, 2 p.m. Eastern. Yo, this is Madman the Big Fan, one of the hosts from FanView on New Orleans Talk Network. Check us out on our new location, Thursdays, 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. And remember, this is not a sports talk show. This is a talk show about sports. Make sure to tune in. Hi, I'm Linda Lewis, Director of Armstrong Family Services. I'm here to remind you that anyone can become homeless, even you. Armstrong Family Services is a nonprofit organization that serves families in crisis. We focus on keeping homeless families together. Post Katrina, we have helped over a thousand families. Now we need your help. For more information, please call 504 899 2995. Thank you! Hi, this is Jill Samuel with Faith That Works. Join us today as we allow the Word of God to change the lives of people by equipping the body of Christ to evangelize the world. I want to personally thank you for spending this hour with me and the body of Christ. Join us on Tuesdays from 11 a.m. Central Standard Time to 12 p.m. on the New Orleans Talk Network, your encouraging coach, Miss Jill. From the lack of rain. Nobody gives you better conversation about your quality of life. Let everyone know you listen to the New Orleans, the New Orleans, the New Orleans Talk Network. Could have whatever you like. Isn't that a wonderful thought? This is the New Orleans Talk Network. Uh, this is Re- I'm your host, Remus Bowman, and this is you and your credit. My co host for the day is Mr. George Russell, Mr. Devon Jarrett, and Miss Radell Green. I Hello. hope I got it better. You did it. Uh, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Radell just asked me to do a, a shout out to our, our New Orleans Saints. Who that? I think I think we gotta we gotta give it to them, man. Oh, they, they, oh yes, they, 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 point. they they look like a football team. They did. Again. They're playing much better together, but you know that's a whole new roster. So to mm. play better right now, I'm not gonna talk football. I'm just saying they're doing good. Bye. Hey, Drew Brees is the guy. Yeah. Mark Irwin had a hell of a game yesterday too. You know, after being well, benched, he needed to be benched. He needed that. He needed to see. That's the thing. See, in life, there's no progress. You can't benefit from easy street. If yes, everything true. is easy, you know, I mean, if you're just laying in the lap of luxury like that, and you don't ever have to do anything to mm. earn mm. anything, Tell everything it. is just given to you. Tell it. I like easy. That, you know, everybody <laughs> likes easy. But it's not but, always good. But, but, it's, but, but easy, easy is fake, man. Easy is not real. Easy is only temporary. 
what's what's real is when you when you have to get down and dirty and and and, and put your hand in the mix and learn how to do the things that is very important for yourself and for your family, mm-hmm. and then you can pass stuff down. Yes, well, what the, what the example well shows building. me, what the example shows me is like credit. Here's the guy, Absolutely. he was on top. He started playing bad, credit got bad. Hmm. He went to work, called Mr. Bowman, credit got good, ran good. See <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> so, 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 but I'm just saying, life's, <laughs> life's is hills and valleys. Your job is to stay on the hill more than you stay in the valley. That's Absolutely. Right. That's Absolutely. If you, had, if, you had, if you had problems in the past, it's okay. We forgive you. Absolutely. We forgive you. And, and, and the people who are listening, now that you know, now that you have the information, you should be held accountable. Let's do something. Let's, let's, you know. let's do something. If you do nothing, nothing will change. Uh, it's so simple. You can hit me up on Facebook. You can hit me up on Twitter. You can hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up. Hey, you can even go to YouTube. Hey, let's do the first three steps. The first step is what? Get a copy of your credit report. How, do you have to pay for it or can you get it free? Free of charge. Can you get a website we get it free? Free of charge. Uh, freecreditreport.com. Okay. What's the second step? Second step is to call me. And where, where can you do that at? 504-274-8117. What's the third step? Step number three is to get to my office so I can evaluate what you got, what your problems are, and give you the information you need to make a great decision. Okay, at your, what time is available at your office? I'm there from 9 until. What about weekend? I'm there from I'm there on Saturdays as well. I heard Mr. Devon Jerry said he had a 24-hour Phone call number, uh, 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 you can call him. Uh, do you have the same? Absolutely. What's that number? 504-274-8117. Do you write better by phone call or do you work better by text? I, I, or email? I, I have no problem with either one. Uh, you can text me hmm. at that same number, 504-274-8117. I recommend text because if he's always busy with a client. <laughs> right. Sometimes it's rude to pick up the phone with right. a client. Right, So and you call him and you miss him. You might not come because you not think he. You don't think he's there. Right. But I'm sure if you text him, he'll respond. Respond right back, whether with a client or not. Respond. So I suggest text. You know, I've noticed texting today is is the most efficient way to communicate. Okay. I agree. Okay. What's what's tech number four? Number four. Yes. Is uh, make a commitment to get into a credit restoration program that I will instruct. Okay. You normally, on. normally when people say commitment to me, it means money involved. How much money I need? Eighty-seven dollars. Eighty-seven bucks to That's get started. It. Eighty-seven dollars to get started. You got eighty-seven dollars. You can get started on a credit restoration program today. Awesome. For those that don't know how credit restoration actually works, can you kind of give them a breakdown of what those steps are? As far as okay, this is what we do. This is what we do, and this is what you need to do. Because okay. a lot of people think when they pay that eighty-seven dollars, they don't they have to won't. do anything. Right, but that's well, not the case. Well, that's, that's not the case. You know, we some companies work differently with the company I represent. It's called United Financial Services. They've been around for about 12 years or so, and they have an A rating with the Better Business Bureau. They do extremely good work. Now, what, we're, what our objective is, is, the reason why I suggest that you come and visit me or talk to me about it on the phone, and I can give you, if you can come and visit me, then I can give you actual information. You'll be able to see exactly what's on your credit report. Whereas if, you know, a lot of times I'll be talking to people and they'll say, well, I know that's there. Well, do you know if there's a potential of getting it removed? Right. You know, because our objective is the more, the, the, you know, the more uh, we get, get, you know, today it was raining. It rained. So the clouds moved over. When the clouds moved over the sky, then the rain came. Now, what we want to do is we want to move the clouds away. So the more the, 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 the more the sun can come down and shine on your credit report, the better your credit score will so, be. So it's like a case-to-case basis, basically, because you don't know if that fell off or if you even have to pay that. Because a lot of people think that they can repair their own credit and they wind up spending money they really don't have to spend. And that's the benefit of Mr. Uh, uh, Remus. You, you, you know, right? you're, I'm, I'm glad you're here, Ms. Green. Thank you. You, you just... You Whoop. brought a very that's an extremely good good uh good Excellent good point. thought. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. A lot of times you don't have to get uh you don't have to pay pay right. a debt. 
uh, you know, there's only a certain amount of time, it's three years, after death's been put into uh, into collection that the debtor, the person that 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 uh, you owe the money you owe the money to, mm-hmm. has to sue you or garnish you your wages, or take uh, appropriate action to demand payment. Mm-hmm. Now, after that period of time has has surpassed, then guess what? Everything's on the table. You can get, you can get it removed. You you can negotiate with them for uh, less amount, uh, less amount. lesser amount. Mm-hmm. Now here's a trick that I've been that I've that 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 I, I I think you should know. When you call a credit card company, and you make a decision to negotiate with them uh, to pay off a credit card bill, and say, okay, well we'll we'll take seventy five percent. Now what most people don't know is it's all about the classification. And if you don't know how to read your credit report, then you won't know that you got a negative classification on your credit report on this account, even though you got a zero balance. Right. See, and and what they did is they they're tricking you. Mm-hmm. They're tricking you to get the money that they may or may not be in a position to, to force you to pay. So what they're doing is they get their money, and they they're on the slick. They give you a, a, a negative rating. Mm. Isn't that terrible? Can't you prevent that? Only way you can prevent that is to number one, uh, try to get it removed from your account. Contact you. Contact Respect us. profession is how you prevent right. that. Oh, Respect a, profession, just like uh, Devon is a lawyer. Respect profession. Don't try to represent yourself, exactly. just like Mister. Uh, I say that so many times. You it's know, it's, they it's they important. Retain you and then tell you how to proceed with their legal services, but they have to respect the profession. You know, yeah. I went to law school because I have experience He's doing back on the line. Right. Let's, you know, let's, let's talk to him. It right. goes what I'm saying. It's very important, but a lot of people don't, unfortunately, do it. So to those that are out listening, please respect profession on every level. If it's not what you're trained to do, don't do it. You can't go buy a suit from the Goodwill and think you're going to look like Mr. George I, Russell I, here. I, I, you just can't do that. You have to respect that. I don't recommend <laughs> <laughs> He's not you're, back. You'll never get a no, second no, no. chance to make a first impression. That's right, correct. Correct, correct. First impression, custom clothes in Houston, Texas. Oh, yeah. First impression, credit. <laughs> I, Mr. Russell's back on the line. Come on, Bill. What, what, uh, I know I, you. I, I hear you. I hear a young man. I, I got an echo here. I hope, I hope I'm not causing a problem. I can hear myself echoing. I hope that's not. No. Um, we, anyway, we, got, we can hear you. A young man called in for a, a credit question. And I can assure you, being a credit repair person for a long time, most of my clients have three issues. One, they try other companies and didn't work. They try other companies and got ripped off. Mm-hmm. And they tried themselves and didn't work. I'm saying so. And if you try the worst, who try somebody better? I mean, if I got a plumber come to my house and it works and it doesn't work out, I call me another plumber. I don't go in and try to fix my plumber myself. That's right. I call, I call me another professional plumber. Yeah. You get it done. So I'm saying, so you, I don't know how much that he has on his credit and what the amount is. Maybe better off calling it professional and staying in his lane and do what he do. Mm-hmm. This, this echo is killing me, really. I'm sorry, brother. There's nothing I can I, do about it. it. That's it's a, I, I, you know, it, it, it is what twice. it is, huh? Yeah, I, <laughs> everything I say out here, I, I don't sound that bad. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I, I, I get myself talking twice. Actually, you hey, sound. Where, 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 where you guys located in New Orleans? Uh, I, I've been working out at a dealership for the last uh, four, five years. Actually, it's about five years now. Out you can come to the dealership. I can run the credit right there. Right there. And show me they are. Five zero four two seven four eight one one seven. Um, to, by the way, that's a Toyota of New Orleans, in New Orleans okay. East. Yo, know, I've got. Right. A, I, I've been fortunate and blessed to have a nice little office. Uh, I work with some very great people, and uh, you know they they're you know they've opened they've opened their eyes to you know to allow me to help our community. You know, hey, the, now, what, the, the numbers your, the numbers are so service? great. What, what, what's your monitoring service? You use? So what's what's the cost? I mean, what's the, your monitoring service? I mean, once they oh, sign up. Oh well, yeah. Well, they, you also get I, uh, you you can you also get LifeLock. You know, the company itself has five different components. They you know. One of the components is the credit restoration. The second component is to give you the information you need to learn how to improve your credit score. A third component is uh, is credit monitoring. 
They let you know exactly what's going on with your credit report. You can also call in and speak with the the professionals at United Financial Services, and they'll walk you through everything you need to do to get a good credit score. Even if you can't, because, you know, I'm not always uh, always available. You may not want to come out to, to, to the East, or you may not want to come out to my office. You can contact the company itself direct. And they'll they'll help you right there on the spot because they have everything that you, they need to to help you get a good credit score, right there. Oh, okay, no. uh, it was great. But I, I mean, I'll, I'll help you guys uh, on this thing. You guys calling in, go visit Mister Remus, see what we can do to help you out. I'm at my office and I got people waiting to see me, <laughs> and, um, and we'll get some work done over here. <laughs> Miss, but again, I'm a new Orleans, I'm a original New Orleans Southern who come to Houston and we've been. Jordan and I have been trying to make an impact, both in the business world and in our community, doing some good in the hood, trying to give back <laughs> to those that have helped us get what we are. Absolutely. So we, all, we all have to have that support. And we thank you. So, again, we was good luck. I hope everything works out real well for you. And I hope the people call in and utilize the service and get themselves in a better place. Hey, uh, I, can, I can't even begin to tell you the number of people that we've been able to help over the years. And how different their lives are. I, I mean, I've got people that have bought houses, that have been able to buy cars at low interest rates. I, you know, I mean, I, I just just last month I had a lady on the show, who uh, who called me and she said, "Man, my car, the check engine light's gone on on my car, and I brought the car to to the repair. The guy told me it was going to be four thousand dollars. I owe seven thousand dollars on this car." Well, I said, "Look, wait a minute, Stacy." You've been in a credit restoration program for, for about six, seven months. You're credit worthy. I'm going to trade you out. Right now, Stacy is driving her brand new Toyota RAV4. And that uh, little, little Nissan Murano that she had is somebody else's problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so, and see, that's what people don't really think about. When you don't do anything, nothing can happen. Nothing can change if you don't change. Right. It starts with you. Right. You have to change. If you change and say, I'm going to change today, I'm going to put myself in a situation where I'm going to have a better credit score in the event that an emergency happened, I can, I can overcome it. Think about this. A few years ago in New Orleans, we had this thing called Katrina. I guarantee you most of the people who was here and went through that whole thing with Katrina had bad credit. So consequently, what happened is they were in a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. They couldn't get, you know, because if you got a good credit score, a good credit score transfer everywhere. You can go, to, you can get your credit card and go to Atlanta and just say, hey, look, or, or, or Texas or wherever you got to go if you got a good credit score. But if you don't have a good credit score and a situation like that occurs, you can't even rent an apartment. You can't put a roof over your family's head. And we are in New Orleans, so we escape a lot. <laughs> so you might want to get that credit straight. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> get it together. <laughs> hey, guys. This is you and your credit. My name is Remus Bowman. It has been my pleasure to be here today with my best friend, uh, Mr. George Russell. Tell him, tell him, uh, tell him goodbye, George. Hey, man. We're, we're listen, I enjoyed myself. If you, have, if you have out in the Houston Bel Air way, Come see me. The name of my company is First Impression Custom Clothes. Remember, Grandma says you will never get a second chance hmm. to make a first impression. Peace out. And Devon? First, Remus, I want to thank you for having me. Um, again, I am an attorney. I'm here for all of your legal needs, uh, any legal need, whether it be personal injury, criminal defense, sports and entertainment law. That's my background. So feel free to give me a call at 504 Four nine one six eight zero six. That is my direct cell phone number. Like I said, I'm young. I really don't sleep. You know, maybe one or two hours, but call me at any time, and I'm here for all your legal needs. That's Mr. Devon Jarrett. That's D E V O N N. Last name J A R R E T T. And my law firm name is Jarrett Law Group. I can testify. If you text him, he texts you right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ms. Green, let's talk to you. We, we got one minute left. What well, how about that? Give me my minute of fame. All right, so uh, this is for Doll Green again, uh, Magnolia Assets. Please look for it coming soon with a whole bunch of fun entities coming off of it. Um, one thing I would leave you guys with is this credit thing is extremely important. 
please repair your credit. You cannot succeed without it. No matter what you do, whether you're trying to put a roof over your children's head, your own head, whether you're trying to start a business, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do, you need that credit to do it because you don't have the money. And I don't have it either. But you either going to pray and worry or worry and don't pray. Fix it. Get your life on track. Amen. Adios. <laughs> this has been You and Your Credit. I'm your host, Remus Bowman, and these are my friends. You can have whatever you, you like. Have whatever, whatever you, you like. like. <laughs> it's all up to you, man. <laughs> Thank you, sir.